a very good Monday morning to you. You are watching Y254, your favorite breakfast show, Why in the Morning. And it's about time we delve into youth and politics. And with us in studio, we have very able ladies and gentlemen here. In fact, it has just come to my attention that we have balanced it out very well. So make sure you do talk to us on social media. Y254 channel on Twitter. The hashtag is Why in the Morning. Hashtag youth and politics if you'd like to be more specific. On Facebook, we're at Y254. On Instagram, Y254 underscore channel. On DSTV, we're at channel 376. So make sure you do catch up with us. But it's about time I introduce the people with me in studio. Meheshimiwa, Asante Sana for gracing us today. Thank you. Say good morning to Kenya. Oh, good morning, Kenya. Mm -hmm. My name is Honorable Philip Nzangi. MC from Makima Ward in Ebu County. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm delighted to be in this show today. We are delighted to have you as well. Thank so you. can we talk to the ladies and gentlemen on this side of town? Introduce yourselves and make sure you let us know where you guys are coming from. I'm Haruna Sano mm -hmm. from the University of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. uh, good morning. My mm -hmm. name is Isaac Ake. I'm a journalist. Mm -hmm. I'm Dizzy Wanjiro, mm -hmm. student, University of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. I'm Machango Peterson, chair YGIK, Embut County. Mm -hmm. Good morning. I'm Esther Maina from the University of Nairobi, Gender Affairs Secretary. Mm -hmm. Good morning. I'm Mwangangi Wanza Angeline. I'm from the University of Nairobi, Vice Chairperson, Women's Students Welfare Association. Fantastic. Thank you guys so much for also gracing us with your presence today. And today we want to talk about the cost of corruption in this country. But it's about time we get to know, um, there's been this myth that um, politicians just get elected and then they go and use that money to get re-elected and steal something. So can we hear from you, Mheshmiwa? How have you been dealing with this particular battle where you guys have been put on the spotlight? Uh, well, um, it's true, like you call it rightly, it's a myth. Mm. Yet, there's some truth in it. Mm -hmm. Because again, uh, it also depends on a few things. You know, a politician uh, will grow from, its own pa from his own personality. Before you become a politician, mm -hmm. you're a human being. Mm -hmm. It also depends on where, from what environment you've grown up in. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, what is it that you believe in? Mm -hmm. It is true. All of us put together, politicians, are seen like, okay, fine, you go there for money, mm -hmm. and then you use the same money to get back votes. Mm -hmm. It's a culture that used not to be there. Mm -hmm. It was brought in at some point mm -hmm. by some politicians. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know about the economics of the gift. Yes. So that you woo people to give you votes, mm -hmm. and then you enrich yourself, you use the same money to... So at the end of the day, mm -hmm. like you're asking is, how do we deal with it? Yes. It's a complex matter. Mm -hmm. Because again, uh, the community itself contributes to the same. I'll give an example of myself as an MCA, member of county assembly. You know our roles very clearly. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know that uh, members of county assembly do not even have any money set aside mm -hmm. in their offices mm -hmm. to serve the people. But you see the needs in the society and you're there every day, day in, day out, and people are coming to you for help, mm -hmm. for, you know, for such kind of things. And they believe that all the money now that you're elected mm -hmm. is with you. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you, you get on the way, it, you get some temptations, but mm -hmm. it's a difficult balancing act. Mm -hmm. Yes. I like the fact that you've mentioned that MCEs are not getting um, enough to do something. Can we talk to the young people? Do you believe that they're telling us the truth? Can you tell us the cost of corruption for you? Thank you so much. My name is, once again, my name is Mongangi Wanza Angeline. And then about the myth, I don't think it's a myth. Mm -hmm. There is so much truth it's in true? it. Yeah, <laughs> it is true. <laughs> Most of our politicians mm -hmm. are very corrupt. Mm -hmm. And the reasons to why poverty is killing us in Kenya. Mm -hmm. I think we are fighting corruption. At the same time, we want to fight corrupt leaders. It's a way too long to go. OK. OK, I feel, I feel it's a, OK, it has some truth and mm -hmm. also some hypothesis which is not tested mm -hmm. but i feel i feel we we need to talk like we get we get educated mm -hmm. about these things mm -hmm. and uh, at least when we, we we have the knowledge mm -hmm. we'll have to we'll have a way to eradicate these things mm -hmm. about corruption because so far it's too rampant mm -hmm. for that yes you see, when we say it's um, it's a myth, mm -hmm. yeah, okay, it's a myth, like 10% myth. 
and 90% truth. Mm -hmm. Because if you ask any young... 90% truth? Yeah, because <laughs> if you ask any young man, any young youth in mm -hmm. any community, mm -hmm. they want to become a politician. Why? Everybody becomes a politician, becomes so rich all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. So everybody wants to become so rich. Mm -hmm. So politics so looks like their home of wealth in the country. Mm -hmm. It's where people become rich. So it's so much truth because if you can easily prove, if the honorable member can tell you the truth, mm -hmm. most of them get into the county assemblies or the, the parliament or anywhere in any public service and they become so rich all of a sudden. Like in mm -hmm. two years they are booming money. Mm -hmm. you know, it's so much truth. Mm -hmm. It's not a myth. It, a myth is it's just a myth. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My opinion on that would be it's true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because if you go mm -hmm. to the Mashinani mm -hmm. and listen to the that needy woman mm -hmm. during elections time, mm -hmm. they'll tell you in Kiswahili, they'll tell you, Wacha to pay you up a caribou, and you at least at Jenge Barabara Hapa. Another person will tell you, Wacha to pay who you. Do at least as a familia nayo, ijinue next time to mm -hmm. tapia mm -hmm. So that is what Kenyans believe. Mm -hmm. Believe that once you get to politics, mm -hmm. you automatically become rich. Mm -hmm. Because that is what they've portrayed. Because mm -hmm. there is no way a mentality or a thought mm -hmm. can just come out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. It has to be triggered by by something. Mm -hmm. Actions are there. This is what people are doing. This mm -hmm. is what the politicians are doing. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it is not even in the national politics. Mm -hmm. Get even to the universities. Mm -hmm. That is what people are doing. Oh, Actually, even in the universities? Yes, oh, okay. even in the colleges. Mm -hmm. Like now, it's ele election periods mm -hmm. for almost many universities. Mm -hmm. JQUAT, KU, UON. Mm -hmm. Many universities are having the elections right now. That is the same, same mentality. Like, people are just want to get into those leadership positions mm -hmm. for power, fame, and money. Mm -hmm. And money being the, be, the great part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mehashimiwa, would you like to respond to the young people? In yeah, I think I'm liking the, 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 what, what they're saying. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's partly true. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's true mm -hmm. that um, many politicians mm -hmm. have enriched themselves. Mm -hmm. But I'd like to challenge them mm -hmm. that uh, at least this is the second around mm -hmm. of having the county government. Yes. I'd like to challenge them that, uh, and by extent, it happened that um, many of the members of county assemblies mm -hmm. did not go back, mm -hmm. were not re-elected. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now, if you look now at their lifestyles mm -hmm. today after politics, mm -hmm. you realize that they really did not make that much money, oh. that was said. You realize some of them have already been gone back. Mm -hmm. One, somebody got his salary, and because of the many demands, especially for those who get into politics mm -hmm. and they want really to serve mm -hmm. the people. Mm -hmm. And every day, as a member of county assembly, you receive many people coming with needs. And as a human being, you listen. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, because you do not have any other money set aside for you, mm -hmm. you end up spending even your salary and everything else. Mm -hmm. So, But now, come election time, the community, I like it, somebody put it very well, mm -hmm. that uh, we have a belief that when you get to politics, that is where money is. So, uh, you, you know, somebody comes, you give all, and then you are not re-elected. Mm -hmm. Today, you're in poverty. So if you're not careful as a member of county assembly, it is even very possible that after politics, you become poorer than you got in. Oh, yeah. Now, the difference is, mm -hmm. We've had a different kind of culture mm -hmm. uh, before when mm -hmm. we did not have the two county, mm -hmm. the, the, two, the county government and the <coughs> national government, mm -hmm. the, the, the two tire kind of governments mm -hmm. in Kenya. Mm -hmm. The most challenged mm -hmm. politician today mm -hmm. is the member of county assembly. Mm -hmm. I may not say as much for the member of parliament, mm -hmm. who now with the, uh, with the coming of the county government, mm -hmm. kind of people have forgotten that this person is also has also responsibility to do. Mm -hmm. I'm not challenging the MPs, mm -hmm. but the truth is many of the members of county assembly have a challenge mm -hmm. when it comes to managing mm -hmm. their own uh, income mm -hmm. and the needs in the society. We have been talking about um, the need for these positions for a minute now. And there's been all this talk uh, even of the referendum and all the positions mm -hmm. that need to be uh, removed and stuff. And we just wanted to know from you, do you believe that your seat and you've also said that um, you're kind of struggling do you believe that if it should exist, we should have MCAs? Actually, uh, to be honest, mm -hmm. 
the member of county assembly is the most important mm -hmm. position mm -hmm. in the whole hierarchy of elective positions. Do you think so? Let's hear from one. Yes. Let's hear from somebody in the audience. <coughs> to add on that, I would like to say that MCA, they are where Wajiko can get in touch with the readers. Because in most of the cases, you meet that if it is a member of parliament, for you to get him, it will take you to go through, even through the PA, mm -hmm. for you to get assistant. Mm -hmm. But when you come to MCA, you just go to his house, very early in the morning, and you tell what you need. So I think in the hierarchy. We need it. We need them. Mm -hmm. It's only that what's happened mm -hmm. when they are given those positions, eh, mm -hmm. they never utilize the resources that are given by the county government and the national government mm -hmm. in a better way. Mm -hmm. You meet if they are given a road mm -hmm. to do. They don't do it the way it is supposed to do. The qualities of the materials, mm -hmm. they are poor so that they can have some money in return to go to their pocket. Mm -hmm. So, but I say the position is very important. Mm -hmm. very yes, important. Would you like to uh, respond? <laughs> yes, I would like to respond to that one very quickly. <laughs> uh, one, I applaud that he really supports that uh, we, yes. we are actually necessary. Mm -hmm. But there's a point of correction mm -hmm. in that uh, the member of county assembly does not implement at any point mm -hmm. projects. You only left to oversight. Mm -hmm. The work of implementation is purely 100% left to the governor and the executive. Now, where mm -hmm. now the misconception comes in mm -hmm. is because, you know, you are the local leader mm -hmm. at the grassroots, mm -hmm. and it is you people see, mm -hmm. it is you people interact with, and they mm -hmm. expect you to bring them all these developments. Mm -hmm. The work of the MC stops at during budget making, mm -hmm. trying to lobby and push that projects in your ward mm -hmm. are put in the budget. Mm -hmm. After that, 100% implementation is the governor. Mm -hmm. We only left now mm -hmm. to oversee, mm -hmm. oversight, what mm -hmm. has been done. Mm -hmm. At some point, if there is collusion or conspiracy between now the executive and the contractor doing that job. Mm -hmm. Now the process of this road was done poorly mm -hmm. and that kind of thing now begins again, which again uh, legally is another procedure mm -hmm. to be done. Mm -hmm. But I want to, to, tell, to, to tell our young people and the nation that there's one role that mm -hmm. the community can assist mm -hmm. the members of county assembly in. Mm -hmm. The moment the contractor uh, touches ground, mm -hmm. The community within the area that project is being done should now be alert and inform their member of county assembly of mm -hmm. anything that they sense could be could be wrong. So that mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. we work together because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. you're in the assembly, you're elsewhere, and you also need somebody on the ground mm -hmm. to help you see what is going wrong. Mm -hmm. That is the only way now we can actually capture this thing. Okay, I may not deny that there could be issues at some point where now uh, a member of county assembly because of the oversight role mm -hmm. can be compromised. No, these are realities. Mm -hmm. Somebody can be compromised so that the oversight role is compromised mm -hmm. so that now when the quality of work is poor, nobody is there to ask. That can happen. Mm -hmm. But now the community can gap, can, can fill that gap mm -hmm. by now being very alert and charging where necessary. Can we have someone else charging uh, from here? <laughs> You know, uh, the honourable member is saying about oversight. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm wondering, do all the county assembly in this country do not do nothing on about oversight? Because it's a word which is being used by most uh, oversight bodies, mm -hmm. which is uh, they don't do it. Like mm -hmm. literally, they don't do it. Mm -hmm. Because if you are doing the oversight, you did the budgeting. You are the one who pl who placed this uh, given uh, pl uh, pl project on on go mm -hmm. uh, during the budgeting process in the county assembly. Mm -hmm. But when the governor is now doing implementing the, the project, you should also do the oversight. Then what, what happens that the project does not happen? You budget for this project, they never happen, and then you are there responsible for oversight, and you're doing nothing. You know, we need to see the feedback, because you're the man we sent, everybody would have gone to the parliament, because you are there for the people, by the people. Right, so we need to see the oversight role be happening because there is no nobody doing oversight here. Everybody is doing their game, playing their game. Um, do you allow me to, re you to respond? Playing yes, games? actually, I'm I'm very happy <laughs> that he's put it that way, mm -hmm. but I think he's also shooting himself mm -hmm. below the foot. Oh, because at the end of the day, somebody is implementing. Mm -hmm. You know, there is difference between oversight mm -hmm. and supervision. Mm -hmm. If I go to supervise the person doing the work, mm -hmm. I'll be doing now the work of the governor and his team. Mm -hmm. You get it, eh? But now, mm -hmm. my oversight role comes when 
you know, the, like what I said, mm -hmm. somebody has touched ground, mm -hmm. has started doing some project. Mm -hmm. The people that are receiving this service mm -hmm. have already noticed something wrong. Now, shout. Mm -hmm. When you shout, because I'm expecting like I have 20, 30 projects mm -hmm. ongoing in mm -hmm. my ward at mm -hmm. the same time. You get it? Mm -hmm. Now, the community that are receiving this, and I think that is now the spirit of the new constitution, mm -hmm. that now power comes from the people. Mm -hmm. They need to shout. It is your work. It is you people that are being served. Mm -hmm. You don't need to keep, to keep quiet and wait for your MCA to come and see that. Mm -hmm. You get it? Mm -hmm. Shout. Now, let's see mm -hmm. what now you are a member. Because now, at that point, it becomes an individual member. Mm -hmm. Let's see what that person does at mm -hmm. that point. Mm -hmm. Because somebody has seen something wrong, mm -hmm. has made some noise. Let's see <laughs> now. Uh -huh. What happens? What to do next? Yep. There's been a there's been a clash between um, county governments and the national government, mm -hmm. and uh, apparently this has been causing the issue even in terms of implementation of projects. Can we discuss this a little further? Is it did devolution come and cause problems, or did it come and do us some justice? Uh, one thing I'll say is devolution mm -hmm. was the best thing mm -hmm. that happened to this country, mm -hmm. and we can see results. Mm -hmm. There are some areas in this country that have never seen tarmac. Mm -hmm. There are some areas in this country that have never seen water. Mm -hmm. There are some areas in this country that have never seen service. They have never known that they're in government. Mm -hmm. But because of devolution, however much corruption might have been devolved, mm -hmm. because it is reality, the corruption is all over, both in county governments and national governments. Mm -hmm. That one I can attest. Mm -hmm. It is true. Corruption is there. Mm -hmm. And you know it is, again, a communal thing that we must fight together. Mm -hmm. But we can already see things that used to happen, happening in some areas that were completely marginalized. Now, the clash between the national government and the county government, mm -hmm. change is not easy. Mm -hmm. There are people who don't believe in change. There mm -hmm. are people who don't like change. Mm -hmm. uh, we know there are some particular persons or uh, entities mm -hmm. in national government who feel like now our, our role, they still feel superior. They feel the, the, these things should not have happened. Uh, yeah. So mm -hmm. it is until that a time, such a time that uh, we will grow with it and everybody will come to accept that devolution was the best thing that happened in Kenya. And, and, and things will change, and the change is not easy. All right. Incredible. Change is not easy, and devolution is the best thing that happened to Kenya. Yes. Do you guys agree? Can we have somebody? The gentleman has really been trying to reach. <laughs> He's been trying you. to reach you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. On development, I wanted to ask Mwishimiwa something. Mm -hmm. Like, um, your work is to do oversight, to make sure that money meant for development is used for development. But how come I'm a journalist and some of the stories that we cover include stories where MCAs are forcing governors to give a lot of money for them to go to some nice hotels and bonds. And if the governor tells you to go and bond with your wife and children in the house, you tell the governor that we are impeaching you. What's your take on that? Is that the good thing to do? Because some ask, up to even 500 million or even 400 that they are going to, to bond either within the country or outside. And you find that some of those money are supposed to be used for development. So how are you going to even oversight yourself when, when you demand such a lot of money that should be used in development? Uh, thank you. Uh, Hilda, I, I, like that's, I think that was a question that was very necessary. But I want to, <laughs> to demystify a few things. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is very easy for us to get into political traps. Don't forget that governors are politicians. MCAs are politicians. The governors have their, got their own weakness and they've got what they want to do and some things may not be right. And for them to cover up, they have to look for a way that looks that will help now the people hit back on the MCAs. And that is the best route. How many governors are going abroad? For what are they? Are, are we seeing the results? from their going abroad, you get it. You know, at, at that point that we realize that the county assembly has got its own budget, mm -hmm. you get it? And the county executive has got its own budget for recurrent and development. Mm -hmm. And then demystify the link between them. Because the county assembly, mm -hmm. the MCAs will not go to the governor to ask for money to go to a hotel when they already have a budget that can allow them to do that. But since the governor has the treasury and everything else, and we want to create a political scenario that will protect him or her from some issues that are happening at his back end, then he'll use it to hit back on the people that oversight him. So at the end of the day, it is the story of politics and people trying to cover their faces. Yes. 
uh, honorable member, uh, I, I feel like uh, to reply on that, yes. uh, you're speaking like what people at the corruption speak in this country. Uh, they're like throwing back the button to the other person, and then the other person throws back to the other person. I, I don't want to, to, to go there. You have to forgive me on this because. Don't worry. Just okay, be open because the point yes. is, yes, the point free. is, if uh, if there is an, a responsibility given by the people, we expect you to do the responsibility to the letter. We don't want you to politic in that period when you are given you the responsibility. We want you to now take the responsibility, do it for the people. Because, for, ex for example, there is just the, the way you were just saying that we, the people, we should look for, uh, we should look at what projects are going on in the county and then make the noise. So we should, you, the government, the, the members of the county assembly or any m elected member is waiting until the people make the noise for them to act. You know, it's so painful. Like the news which are going on right now is about people in Trokana. There are members of county uh, assembly in that in, the, in that area who went on for budgeting, who uh, with there is a governor in that county. You know, you see, but people are dying of hunger. So that doesn't mean that there is no prioritization in, the, in this county. The county assembly do not prioritize on what projects should be done in a given area because I thought devolution came to tackle problems that face people immediately, so that the government, the national government, can handle other issues which are long term. You see, you see? at the end of the day. For example, M County, your, your, your county, your your county, your Makima your ward. ward. Makima yes. ward. Yes. For example, the, I know that that place very well. Mm -hmm. For example, the road from Ma, Ma, it's called um, to Makima Town to the, the Makima Town Center has not been tarmacked for seven years under the revolution. You see, and I don't know what you're doing about it. You see, we expect that to, that should be a, a bit of a priority because that area requires a tarmacked road because it's a economic zone for your county. Mm -hmm. You see. So we, we wonder, do, do you have even prioritization, prioritization in the county government during the budgeting time? Because that is where the problem starts. Well, um, I will start from where he mentioned mm -hmm. Makimawad. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> the road, mm -hmm. you know, that is now where I belong. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would respond to any question yes. that, that comes from... There is another whatever. one that is already coming here. Yes, from I know. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> now, the, the road you're talking about is not even a county road. Remember, roads are also classified. And uh, we have roads that are meant for the county government. We have roads that are meant for CARA. We have roads that are made even meant for even national highways or whatever authority. And we have roads that are meant for Kura, Kenya Urban Roads, Rural roads Authority, something like that. Mm -hmm. Now, the road you're talking about is, uh, belongs to the national government through CARA, has been actually, uh, it's a war that we have, even in the previous government that uh, that road has Gashu actually been funded. Gashuriri, I'm hearing that is the, the name of that road. Gashuriri is in a different word. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yes, so uh, yeah. the mm -hmm. road you're talking about mm -hmm. has been funded, uh, has been put in a budget for the last, not even seven years, I think, mm -hmm. more than seven years, during the last government. But uh, everybody is asking the same question. Um, I believe the, the, the member of National Assembly for for, for Bere South is listening to this because that would be his priority. Mm -hmm. That would be his responsibility to follow up. We've even talked about it even when the deputy president visited and everything else. Mm -hmm. Because again, work of implementation belongs to the executive. As we will receive the budget, mm -hmm. look at it, approve it, when the executive has promised and convinced mm -hmm. that they're able to collect this revenue mm -hmm. and they're able to put this money into this use. Mm -hmm. But then, at the end of the day, they'll tell you there was shortfall in revenue and several other stories. Mm -hmm. And then we start now. Mm -hmm. Now, from the point of uh, if you allow me, yes, please. Where you say that um, we wait until people make noise, make noise for us to act. Mm -hmm. There is the people, and you people must also accept that you have a role to keep your leaders on check. Mm -hmm. You get it, eh? Because at the end of the like today, I'm in this program. After this, I'm going to another one. Mm -hmm. There could be some program mm -hmm. that is happening on the ground. Mm -hmm. You get it. I have only three officers in my office who can also, also be everywhere. So, but then a certain a uh, contractor mm -hmm. messes up on the ground. Somebody there must make some noise and then I pick it up from, from there. Uh, uh, instead of waiting until when the project is complete and mm -hmm. you start now blaming your leader, let us be proactive, let us work together. At that point, this nation will grow. Speaking of which, um, there is a question that's coming in. Uh, the people in Makima Ward, Mueland uh, scheme haven't received their title deeds. Is it a matter of corruption and what is happening? Well, Hilda, I expected that question. Mm. And actually, <laughs> if I was not to respond to that question, <laughs> I would not feel complete. Mm -hmm. I would not have been in this show. Mm -hmm. Mwea scheme is a very complicated matter. Mm -hmm. Actually, I am on the spot. Mm -hmm. 
somebody will ask, will tell you that it is me who has denied the title deeds. Mm -hmm. Another person will tell you, Mwishmiwa has fought for us. Mm -hmm. It is. It was a complete, okay, fine. The, the interior government through Dr. Matiangi mm -hmm. stopped the whole exercise. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of fraud happened. Mm -hmm. A lot of things happened uh, that uh, are amount to corruption. Mm -hmm. People give money and everything else. Mm -hmm. But 95% of the people living on that land mm -hmm. were denied title deeds. We all, they only came to learn that there are title deeds that are happening where now they wanted to, they were issuing the title deeds. Mm -hmm. And uh, everything happened until mm -hmm. some nine people were shot by the police. Mm -hmm. It was complete impunity. It was complete. Uh, how do you have a deputy county commissioner leading a team of policemen to shoot at people and then you just say things were right? So the issue is the title deeds, uh, in my position, whatever happened is a complete, complete fraud. It, is, it should just be nullified and then a new process starts. And then the government must, must not only stop at that. Mm -hmm. They must investigate the whole exercise, the mm -hmm. whole process, if Philip... Mm -hmm. As a member of county assembly, mm -hmm. although it happened before I was elected, mm -hmm. if I was involved in any issue that led to this uh, mm -hmm. fraud, mm -hmm. that actually spent a lot of money and la has led to loss of life, mm -hmm. then let me let law now take its course. Mm -hmm. uh, because it not just stop at that. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't know whether I'm clear, mm -hmm. but uh, if uh, another question comes, I'm, I'm ready to respond. Thank but you very much. But it was a complete fraud. Mm -hmm. Yes. Asante Sandam Heshmiwa for responding. Yes. Can I talk to the young people here just for one minute? When it comes to representation of you guys, when it comes to uh, if you, your political seats and all that, do you feel like the young leaders represent you well? Because uh, we, we, we recently had a scenario where the president felt that uh, the young people will just come and make it even worse, make this whole corruption thing so much worse. Are the young leaders representing you well? <coughs> I think that one is a very good question eh? uh, about the young leaders. Mm -hmm. But let me say they are the real politician. Whenever you say that these are young, these are young, young leader. Mm -hmm. When he go to the parliament or when he go to the county assembly, he become the politician. And whenever you see like you see Mwashimua, what he's trying to do is always trying his level best to make sure the board does not fall on his side. <laughs> and he makes sure that he is green and the others are not the one. Uh -huh. Because as a leader, you're supposed to take responsibility and say, maybe here I have failed and I agree on that. And then you wake up and then you, you look for a solution. Like that, the issue of the nini, the issue of the load, where he is supposed to be the oversight. Mm -hmm. How comes do you, do you he is given the responsibility by the county government to be the oversight and the one who is supposed to look whether everything is running. But because what they do, they make sure they push the contractor that they want to work with them. They are given the brand envelope. Quisha. You see, <laughs> then... Heshmiwa, <laughs> you are not fit today. Yeah. How can you oversight <laughs> somebody <laughs> who have already given you a brand, brand envelope? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Again, on the issue, another issue I want to ask the mm -hmm. we have mm -hmm. the nominated MCAs. Mm -hmm. Do they have offices? What is the responsibility? Do they have the <laughs> budget? <laughs> what are they supposed to be? What is the uh, work in the county government? Mm -hmm. Because if you want to see a nominated MCA, you don't know whether he has the office and he doesn't have the office. Mm -hmm. do, do we, what is his work? Come up very clear so that you can understand the role of nominated leaders. Asante Sana for that question. Can we also hear from the lady because it's about time we wind up. So we wa I want you guys to ask all your questions so that Mheshimiwa can respond to them together. Let's go. Myself, uh, responding to that issue of representation, mm -hmm. I would think they may be trying. They may be trying because mm -hmm. we know this is Kenya mm -hmm. and it has many barriers. Mm -hmm. They may be trying. But they are still not doing it. Because I would expect when you are youth, and you know that the youth make up up to seven, almost 70% population of this nation, mm -hmm. you should be trying to pull up other youths into this representation, mm -hmm. into these places. Because mm -hmm. we, we all, all the time we say the youth don't cut the cake, mm -hmm. they don't get the peace, mm -hmm. they don't even get the dropping pieces on the ground. Even they the crumbs, nothing. Even the crumbs, they don't get anything. Okay. And to give an example, I would really desire, as a youth in that position, 
uh, let's stop aiming so high. Let's start at the grassroots. I would be very proud of a place like, to, for example, in the place that you come from. I'm from Nyeri. Makima. Well. He's from Makima. <laughs> <laughs> Makima. 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 Uh, so yes. I, would, I would love youths to have, to be represented everywhere, even in a board of governors in the schools. Because I, I really don't relate why. Mm -hmm. In those boards, we have guys as old as 55, 65. Mm -hmm. I wish there would be at least two youths there because they're the people who relate most mm -hmm. to what these kids are experiencing. Mm -hmm. It's them who've been there most recently. But now having 55 or 65, because another myth that is in this country, when you talk about representation, we only think of the national government, having people in parliament. Mm -hmm. But even in those groups, even in those youth institutions that you have at home, let's have not like uh, the people of the likes of our fathers managing those things. Okay. Yeah. Please, we got to do I a bit faster. I think if you want to talk about corruption, corruption starts with you as an individual. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We shouldn't put much emphasis and much negativity in our leader's side. Mm -hmm. At CC, we always, corruption just starts with you as long as you are a, a member of the country, you should start stopping corruption from you yourself, giving bribes and so on. So corruption starts with you as an individual. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much for that comment. Can we have from the lady in front of you? Okay. Uh, the same way Daisy has said, mm -hmm. youths, are youths are about 70% mm -hmm. in this population. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to representation, mm -hmm. yes, we are represented, but not that mm -hmm. exactly. Not exactly like we feel we are fully represented. Mm -hmm. So if it is 70%, it mm -hmm. means we are the majority. Mm -hmm. Of course, we can be like, we can be represented fully, mm -hmm. but I have a feeling like 